Today we're going to try to do uh, this eccentric cone. Uh, I've taken my cone and I've put layout lines on it. Um, I've put 21 segments. I put a center line on it and then I divided the the circumference of the diameters of the two diameters by 21 and I put marks and then I put lines across to connect those marks. Um, when you're doing the eccentric cones, you can't roll around the cone bending attachment like you can with a normal cone. The eccentric cone doesn't turn properly in the machine. So what we do with the layout lines is we, we line up a section parallel to the top roll, be, between the top roll and the side roll. And we're just gonna work back and forth over this section and then we're going to rotate the cone manually on the next layout line and we're going to do a section every time we're going to reposition the cone to where our layout line is straight um, you may or may not need to put some amount of tilt in the side rolls when you're doing these uh, if you find that the large diameter is closing too much and the small diameter is not closing enough you can add a little bit of inclination to the side rolls to um, help get the small diameter closed. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start, we're gonna do a pre-bend on, on both sides, and then we're gonna just work sections to our layout line.
can see on this one that the large diameter is overrolled a little bit. There is a trick that you can use to open something back up that you've overrolled. And it's just using the pinch alone um, without any side roll and rolling the cone against the top roll at an angle. So if I angle it like this where the cone is pushing against the top roll and I pinch, and I make the rotation, it will push the radius open a bit. You want to be careful how much you do it because you just want to try to open it until you've, you're not overdone. I'll do the same thing to the other side. Maybe one more time to this side. And that's a, that's a much better result. So I'm supposed to be 300 millimeter. And I'm 295 by 300. So it's a few millimeter out of round, a quarter inch or so out of round on the, on the small diameter. The big is going to be a bit worse. It's supposed to be 480. Here I'm 480 and here I'm 470. I'm 10 millimeter. I can see I've got some flat on the large diameter back here. But again, if you weld this, you can put it back in and you can try to add some radius into this, which should uh, extend it out in this direction. 